This is Pakistan, but feelings here are pretty much the same as throughout the Islamic world. No one wants to call the military action in Afghanistan the war against Islam. But if you're a Muslim, it sometimes feels like that. I'm a Muslim. I have faith in God and I live by the Quran. Unfortunately, there are people in the West who think this makes me some kind of a religious extremist. But it's simply not true. The fundamentals of Islam are justice, compassion, tolerance, charity, and above all, humility before God. There's nothing in the Quran that's against progress and modernity. We also live, love and enjoy ourselves. The net result is often more misunderstanding about the true nature of Islam. It's most unfortunate that most people in the United States do not understand what Islam is. For them, Islam equals fundamentalism. But for the majority of Pakistanis, this is not the case. For them, Islam gives them direction in life. It gives them moral values. Moral values that has sustained the family system in this part of the world. Islam means coming to terms with a very harsh reality. The majority of the population live below the poverty line in this part of the world. Islam also means dignity for a lot of Muslims. Uh, dignity because once you pledge obedience to the one God, it frees you from worshipping the false gods, gods like uh, the material God. It also means that you believe in the hereafter. And people who believe in the hereafter lead their lives differently to those who believe that this is the be-all and the end-all. Islam has been the dominant force here for over a thousand years. At a time when England was wrestling with William the Conqueror and the United States didn't even exist, this was a mighty empire. Its descendants today may be vastly poorer than Americans, but this decline has nothing to do with Islam. It doesn't mean our traditions and our beliefs are in some way inferior. It's the feeling that Americans believe in their own cultural superiority and the fear that our own way of life will be overwhelmed that leads to a reaction against them. The roots of this resentment against America go back to the days of colonialism. They have inherited a legacy of hatred that was once aimed specifically at Western powers whose empires dominated most of the Muslim world. If this seems unfair because America has never had an empire, then look again. Nowadays, many feel that we are still under the control of the West, but by proxy, and America is seen to be at the heart of it. <laughs> The entire Muslim world, and he said, including himself and all uh, religious people, everyone condemned what happened in Washington, New York. And now they have, uh, without establishing the guilt, the proof, uh, they have, uh, you know, they have uh, started attacking Afghanistan. He visits uh, Afghanistan a lot. A lot of his students have been um, uh, are there in positions of authority and he says you cannot imagine the way those people have been destroyed by uh, war. He says uh, the Quran says that uh, when you have differences sort them out with uh, wisdom and compromise and do not resort to what is happening in Afghanistan. In other words, do not resort to aggression. I feel strongly that the greatest crime of our ruling classes is that we never bothered to educate our masses. Well, this is Aitchison College 
considered to be the Eton of Pakistan. This is the first classroom I, I went to, uh, first ever class I attended and I spent 10 years in this uh, school. When I came out, like the majority of students who came out from HSN, we understood the Western culture better than our own. Our thinking was westernized, we wore Western clothes, our idols were Western, pop stars, movie stars. We read English newspapers, they read Urdu newspapers. The civil service, which which was the best profession in Pakistan, you could only get in if you had a good grasp of English and Western knowledge. So the majority of the population was excluded. And so the resentment began to grow. It's growing all the time. It's against the small westernized elite, which has hogged everything in this country, which is the little privileged class, which has not shared everything with the majority. And now the majority, when it turns against us, it also turns against West. Because we, for them, epitomize everything that's wrong with the West.